Hey, what's up, beautiful souls? Happy Thursday. <laughs> I hope that your day and your week are going well, and I hope that you've been able to be present today. And I hope that this message finds you in a loving place. Today, I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, the beginning of my spiritual awakening and, and a story that somebody had asked me to share a little bit about. So to make a very long story that is still writing itself uh, short uh, for the video purposes, 2015, my father was killed in a car accident. At that point in my life, I was on cruise control, uh, very engulfed in my ego. I was successful in the military. At that point, I had been in the military uh, for 10 years. Um, I was a police officer. Uh, just fully engulfed in matrix programming and I was good at it. I was very good at it and I was an atheist. I didn't have much belief outside of myself and um, when my father was killed, it left me in the dark. It left me with a crumbled foundation on, in all three pillars, my emotional well-being, my spiritual well-being that was non-existent at the time in my conscious reality. And also, I had to have back surgery shortly after my father died. So my physical foundation was literally crumbling. I had a herniated disc in my back. So I was at a place of complete darkness. I didn't know where to go, what to do. And I came across this program, Awaken the Warrior Spirit, run by a good buddy of mine in Costa Rica. And at the end of this program, we were invited down to experience this festival called the Envision Festival. So the Envision Festival is a, a very dear place to me down in the jungle of Costa Rica, right on the beach. Such a powerful energy of the, the ocean meeting, the jungle, and um, just a, a very conscious festival. During the, class, during the day they had yoga workshops, or uh, yoga classes, um, educational workshops, horticulture classes, just anything of uh, higher consciousness was taught and talked about and shared at this festival. And it was something that I had never experienced before. And the first day I was so uncomfortable and such a fish out of water, you know, the, the dreadlocks and free spirits everywhere. And here I am, a, an ego driven military man that's also in law enforcement, just full of judgments and full of insecurities and man I felt so uncomfortable but you know people really went out of their way to make me feel comfortable but the moment I want to talk about in this video the moment I was specifically asked about was a ceremony in, in which I had taken part in it not necessarily a ceremony I had consumed peyote and sat by the sacred fire at uh, the Envision Fest and the sacred fire is a place where you can go to offer the fire uh, your prayers and just sit by the fire and they would have a shaman there holding space and and helping the spiritual work that was being done there well i i felt such a calling to this place and you know my trip to costa rica to begin with almost ended my my relationship with my wife just because you know i went about it the total wrong way i was not transparent i just it was something inside of me that I had no clue what it was calling me down there. So for me, it was so hard to try to explain and elaborate that to my uh, my wife. And um, it, it caused a lot of problems in our relationship. But anyways, once I got down there, you know, my father was always a guy that said, you need to find greater, you know, especially when I was going to the Middle East. And he's like, Chad, you know, I know you're atheist, I, but you, you need to find something outside of yourself in case something happens, son, I don't want you to be in that place. And, you know, I was like, uh, you know, whatever, I'll be fine. If I'm, if I'm dead, then I'll just go in the ground and be lights out. You know, that was my limited belief at the time. And so I get down there and, and I'm sitting by the sacred fire and I had, I'd done psychedelics a couple times, recreational in high school, but I had never experienced the, the healing modality of plant medicines. And this was something new to me and something foreign to me and something on my initial trip down to Costa Rica. I was like, no way, you know, that's not for me. That's not my thing. 
Um, it's illegal. I'm a police officer. Not only that, my last time doing psychedelics in high school, I had the most horrendous night of my life. I felt like I was never going to come out of it. Super, super powerful, painful experience that night for me um, in high school. So fast forward, I'm like, hell no, I'm not doing psychedelics. And, you know, the modality uh, of healing and what it can bring out was explained to me. And so I jumped in and uh, sitting by this fire, uh, my dad came to me and I, I don't mean came to me as his visual visually came to me because a lot of spiritual gifts come differently for people so my intuitive gift is energetic it's not visual and I can sense the energy and I could hear his voice and he said to me that he had brought me down to Costa Rica to this festival to show me how beautiful life can be when I open up and when I open my heart and I open my mind to st stuff greater than me and stuff outside of me because I was so self-centered and so ego driven and to have my father that that was just killed come to me it just broke all of that atheist programming and limited mindset wide open and that's when a large part not just this not just sitting with the peyote but that whole week in Costa Rica uh, experiencing different plant medicines and experiencing a, a culture and a festival unlike anything that I had ever experienced it was so open-hearted and loving and accepting and uh, you know I had the most judgments of these people but I felt no judgment in return so it really just reflected my own insecurities and my own judgments of others through law enforcement, through profiling, and through all these things that I had been taught to do to profile people. Um, man, these people just showed me that it, that what that's not how life is supposed to be. And my dad confirmed that to me. So to add a little bit more to how my father brought me down there when my father was killed in his safe lockbox was a, a manila envelope full of concert and festival tickets. Well, uh, my dad adopted us later on in his 20s and I never really knew that side of my, my father. And even though he adopted my brother and I, I he, he stepped in and filled such the void that I always knew him as my father. But anyways, this envelope full of concert and festival tickets, we we're like, what the hell? You know, there's no will, there's no like family heirlooms, you know, nothing, just this uh, thing of tickets. Nobody really cared, wanted it, everybody was kind of confused. And I was like, you know what, I'll take it. Well, fast forward to this peyote uh, session and boom, my dad's like, hey, festival concert tickets, here you are at a festival, <laughs> wide open. So that's a little bit about my beginning of discovering my soul and my spirit and diving into the different spiritual modalities and the different shamanic practices that I incorporate into my life now. Um, just such a powerful, powerful week in Costa Rica that almost ended my relationship with my wife, but now we are stronger than ever and I'm so grateful that, that she forgave me for the way I went about it because it was completely wrong and uh, I own that I was just so confused in my inner world that I didn't know how to explain it without sounding fucking crazy because I was unaware of my spirit but my spirit was telling me like you have to go you have to go and my my dad's dragging me from the spirit realm like hey dude you have to come like I couldn't convince you when I was a in, in human form but now that I'm in the spirit realm, I'm fucking dragging you into the spirit realm. So uh, super grateful, super powerful, and just thank you for listening. And Chris, thank you for asking, brother. Um, I'm grateful for you. And I um, hopefully things will align so we can maybe go sit with, with ayahuasca. So I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And if you have any questions about different plant medicines, or any other different modalities that don't involve plant medicines, please reach out. My service is free. I'm, I'm here to serve. And another message that I got during that, that festival was, I'm to be a bridge. And uh, th that means to me, from 
the ego to the soul and from the ego driven world of the military and law enforcement and the system into much greater into the, the infinite multi-dimensional beings that we are so hold my hand let's walk across the bridge and i'll see you guys very soon